Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you how to use HSS to put chamfers on these edges over here. What I'd like to do is actually put chamfers on every single one of these edges on the part itself. So I'll go into HSS, and I'll use the option of projection. Now, in my geometry area, I'll be projecting onto these surfaces over here, as shown over here, and I'll be working on these edges, as shown over here, that's projected onto that surface itself. The tool that I will be using will be a tapered end mill, where the bottom diameter over here will be 0.4 millimeters, and the diameter of the tool itself is six millimeters. Now we've added also arbor diameter which is larger than the actual diameter of the tool itself of eight millimeters and we'll use this later on to help us out with our gouge control. I'll select the tool. Now before I go any further let me go back to my geometry and we have here one option that I did not f use yet. This is our drive surface offset. Since I actually want to cut into the surface itself I'll put a drive surface offset of minus 0.1. So I'll actually go deeper into the surface itself. Now let's go into our toolpath parameters. In our toolpath parameters, we have our surface quality and our sorting. If I go into my sorting area, I'll use the tool contact points at user defined points. I'd like to actually move the tool sideways at 2.7 millimeters and if I go into my surface quality I'd like to have an axial offset to move my tool down by minus 2.7 bringing the chamfer edge of the tool onto the surface itself. If I go now into my link area I will not be using my large gaps or my large moves but what I will do is set the maximum value for my gaps, my small gaps at 2 millimeters and the maximum value for my small moves at 5 millimeters. I'll also be using my lead in and lead out and now we'll go into our gauge check. In our gauge check area first I'll use the first gauge check, gauge 1 and in this particular case just making sure the tool tips will have not have any problems on the surfaces itself and where it does I'll be moving the tool away on my retract in XY plane and we'll use this for the tool tip only. Now in my second gauge check we want to enable this now to use it on the arbor as well. Again according to the drive surfaces we'll be leaving out our gouge points but we will not trim them so we'll actually continue on the rest of the part itself. If I do save and calculate now and then we run our simulation you'll see that the toolpath will do work exactly on the part itself giving a chamfer on every single one of those edges and if we even take a closer look at this edge over here you'll see it only got up into this area as to not to crash into this wall over here and the same thing on the other side as well. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.